In this video, we present an overview of Box 2 of Keza, where the assessor can report the uses of the life cycle of the substance, including the service life of articles. The uses have to be identified and assessed from a human health and environmental perspective. In Keza, the life cycle of the substance is described in the life cycle tree. By default, only the manufacturer import node is displayed as a starting point of the life cycle tree. There, the import tonnage, the tonnage directly exported, and the tonnage used as an intermediate under strictly controlled conditions can be reported so that the tonnage to be assessed can be calculated. This node cannot be deleted. To build a life cycle tree, all uses of the substance should be created. To add to the structure of the tree, select the Manufacture Import node, right-click on it, and then select the Add function from the menu. The Add function is also available in the main toolbar. When creating a use in Keza, one of the available use types related to the life cycle stages of a substance should be selected, namely Manufacture, Formulation, Use at industrial site, Use by professional worker, Consumer use, Service life, Worker at industrial site, Service life, Use by professional worker, Service life, Consumers. In this example, Manufacture has been selected. To describe a use properly, the following minimum information should be provided. A proper use name. By selecting an appropriate standard phrase and clicking on the icon beside the text field or, if no appropriate phrase is available, by entering free text. Please note that sector associations have made use maps available that include proposals for use names. The tonnage for that use so that the environmental assessment can be carried out. The relevant environmental release category or ERC. If needed, further information which will be reported in the chemical safety report and that can be transferred automatically in section 3.5 of Euclid in the field Brief Description of Use Process by using the Euclid plugin CSR report generator. Please refer to the user manual of Euclid for further details. As you can see from the example, it is possible to report uses according to market sectors. A market sector represents the area in which a use takes place. For example, the formulating sector to which a manufacturer or importer supplies its substance. It is the choice of the assessor to describe the uses of the substance according to market sectors. Splitting the uses by market sector may help in the transparency of the reporting of the various tonnages used for the environmental assessment. When creating a market sector in the life cycle tree, the user should assign it to a label, a chemical product category and a tonnage supplied to that market. Subsequently, other uses can be added. In this example, we have reported the life cycle tree of the ECHA CSR example. Once uses have been reported, all activities contributing to each use need to be described. In Keza, these are called contributing scenarios. However, in the use maps developed by sector associations, they are referred to as contributing activities. These scenarios or activities can be reported in the life cycle tree under each use by using the add function. Each contributing scenario will have to be assessed in box 3. For the environment, a contributing scenario is created by default. The environmental release category, or ERC, 
which has been assigned to the use is relevant for all contributing scenarios under that use. Additional contributing scenarios can be created under the same use if needed. As for the uses, contributing scenarios should be given an accurately descriptive name that helps the type of activity they are covering to be understood easily. It is also possible to provide more explanations for the chemical safety report on the activities covered by the contributing scenarios. For workers, each contributing scenario corresponds to specific activities carried out by workers. An appropriate process category, or PROC, should be selected. In this example, seven contributing scenarios for workers have been added and properly describe the activities related to the use formulation of liquid mixtures. For consumers, each contributing scenario corresponds to the use of a specific type of product or article. An appropriate product or article category should be selected. Here, you can see how the life cycle tree of the CSR example appears in the application after finalising the use description. In KESA, it is also possible to report uses by importing already reported life cycle trees, such as the use maps developed by sector associations, when available, where the whole or part of the life cycle are described. This is done with the following functionalities. Import and export of the full life cycle tree only without the assessment. This is done by clicking the icon in the main toolbar. This functionality is intended mainly to allow a reuse of the life cycle tree when assessing a different substance with the same type of uses but with potentially different conditions of use. Import and export of parts of the life cycle tree with their related assessments, the so-called CSA building blocks. This is done by clicking the icon available in the main toolbar or by right-clicking any use in the life cycle tree. The functionality is intended for reusing all or part of the life cycle tree when assessing a different substance with the same types of uses and similar conditions of use. Another important function is edit, available by right-clicking on any element of the life cycle tree in the main toolbar or by double-clicking on the element itself. This function allows the user to edit the description of any use, contributing scenario or market sector. For instance, we are now showing the functionality in the life cycle tree of the CSA example. Each time the edit function is clicked for a specific item, an editing pane is opened where the user can revise the relevant fields. As you can see in the selected use, all the relevant fields can be edited. In the main toolbar, other functions are available to the user. They are copy and paste, which allows users to copy uses and contributing scenarios, including their descriptions and assessments within the lifecycle tree. Move up and down allowing users to move uses or contributing scenarios up and down to sort the life cycle tree. It is also possible by clicking the consistency check toolbar button to verify that the building of the life cycle tree respects a set of rules that relates to tonnages, the ordering of uses and labels. The rules are presented as possible suggestions for revision. They are not mandatory. Finally, please note the help text light bulb throughout the application. If clicked, it points the user directly to the relevant place of the user manual, where further information on the related functionality can be quickly retrieved. 
This was an overview of box two of Keza, where the assessor can describe the uses of the substance through a life cycle tree structure. You can find further information on box two in the support page of the Keza website.